welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new welcome welcome to my little youtube family recently i needed some new skincare because i was pretty much out of everything i own and i was like i'm sick of getting price line i'm gonna change it up i'm gonna go to chemist warehouse and i went in there for like say like four products literally walked out with this giant bag full of like skincare a little bit of makeup of course and just a whole bunch of goodies and i was like all right let's do a whole lot of this video so if you want to see that giant bag full of skincare and other things just keep watching but don't forget to subscribe to this channel check out how long the receipt is for these items it's whew. but i do like how they have like a savings amount because they always have specials and like discounts at chemist warehouse which is really cool so i saved a total of 40 dollars and 16 cents and i spent 108 dollars and 50 cents which isn't bad for the amount of products that i actually brought like how many did i buy one I bought 16 items and I came to $108.50. That's not that bad, I think. Let's dive in. Let's go straight to products. Uh, first up, I grabbed some sheet masks. I'm a massive sheet mask person. I have really dry skin. If you know my videos, then clearly you know I have really dry skin. I usually grab the Garnier skincare ones because I find they're really effective and they're usually on sale for hella cheap. I'm going to put all the prices that I paid for up on the screen and that way you can judge whether you want to pay that price as well. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I do like these ones. I grabbed the Ultra Hydrating Rejuvenating Mask and the Ultra Hydrating Soothing Mask. Next up, I grabbed this guy here and this is my childhood in a bottle, to be honest. This is the Bathox New Improved Milk and Honey Body Wash Ideal for Dry Skin. I have been using this since literally I was like four years old. It smells so yummy. So yummy. Um, it's not very hydrating or anything, it just smells good and it's very nostalgic for me. That's really the only reason I got it, and I can't cl it closed, but it was very, very affordable. It is winter time over here, which means dry hands. Such dry hands. My hands are so... My cuticles look horrible all the time now. So I got a new hand cream. This is the Roskin Skin Repair Intensive Moisture Hand Cream for very, very dry skin. Uh, and I haven't tried this yet, but God, I hope it works, because my hands look nasty so bad right now. Favorite skincare products of all time is pore strips because I'm disgusting and love seeing the results of them pulling off. This is the only brand that I've ever found that actually works. It is the Biore or Bior. Uh, I just use the ultra deep cleansing ones. I find the blackheads ones don't work that well but these ones are fabulous for pulling the gunk out of your nose and everywhere because I put them everywhere to be honest. I had run out of a good cleansing balm and I was struggling to find a good one that was affordable and then I remembered this guy here holy crap it is so old school I love it it is the Pons cold cream cleanser this stuff is like super old like it's something like the 50s or something but it is awesome it does remove your makeup really well and it's super affordable it's like at the bottom shelving where I find like no one ever looks at it but it's a really great product and I highly recommend it I'm a sucker for a good mask, like I said before, but this one is this one here. It is the Sukun Rosehip Rich Moisture Facial Hot Mask. I haven't used a particular hydrating mask like this before. Ooh, cat fur again. Um, which is interesting because it does contain like clay. And I find that clay ones usually dry out and are really good for acne. I also have acne, which is another story alone, but apparently it's a paraben free, dry and distressed skin types which is my skin type so should be really interested to see this and I just love the fact that it's pink. I grabbed something a little bit random because I do like to change up my life once in a while. I need to do that sometimes. So I grabbed some semi-permanent hair colours. These are the Schwarzkopf Live. Uh, they're just purple toned. I grabbed blueberry and rich burgundy. I plan on combining these colours and hopefully getting a really luscious purple shade um just because i feel like i need to change once in a while these last like five washes they say eight it's five honestly it's five but they're really cool and i think it's good for a little change once in a while next product is something that i was like it's so cool and it's so trendy right now it's one of those gold peel off masks i originally thought it was going to be one of those jelly ones that you just peel right off but it's actually one of those like almost like a biore strip but then you peel off it's like one of those blackhead removing ones it is gold I have already tried it, it works pretty well. To be honest, it removed more of my facial hair than my blackheads, which I'm okay with. They gotta go either way, I don't really like them on my face. But this apparently is cleanses skin, remove blackheads, enhances natural radiance, moisturizes and hydrates, collagen increases skin elasticity, and reduces fine line and wrinkles. 
that's a lot of claims for something that was that cheap. I just liked it because it was a peel off and it was gold. And if you're like me, probably get this because it's cool. I need a new moisturising day cream and to be honest day hair creams from like the drugstore are super hard to find at the moment because I need something that's quite thick for a day cream, really hydrating, but usually I really want SPF in it because I don't wear makeup during the day so I need some sort of SPF. Unfortunately I just couldn't find an SPF moisturiser that was suitable for what I needed at the time but I did grab this CeraVe Cream, it's in French. Where's the English? There is facial moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. I did have a sample, like a little tester of it, and it felt really like silicone and like hydrating and really nice. This just claims simply to be a good old moisturizer, health restore, protective skin barrier. So it has hyaluronic acid and all that goody stuff in it. So I'm really looking forward to it. I also have just seen this like this brand all over Facebook and like Instagram, and I'm just like Maybe I should give it a try. Obviously it's French or Italian. Apparently I can't read any other language apart from English. But I am very looking forward to trying and testing this brand out. The new cleanser, because cleansers are really hard for me because I'm either like, I need something that's really high end with lots of glycolic acid and all the goodies in it. And then I'm like, a cleanser goes in your face for like a minute and then you wash it off. I don't understand why I need to do like buy a $30 face wash. So that's where I got to this guy, which is an old brand that I consistently go back to. It is the Sukin Sensitive Cleansing Gel. I liked it because it's a gel formula. It does foam up enough that I feel like my face is clean, but not so much that it strips all my like, moisture out of it, which I appreciate so much. Right now I'm using a glycolic based, rather expensive face cleanser that feels really good on the skin when you're like washing it because it like tingles from the glycolic acid. But it feels like I've put something else on my skin, so my skin actually feels heavier. It does not remove makeup, and honestly, it just wasn't worth the price. I have kept a little bit on the bottle, so I'm actually going to apply it as a face mask, for like a glycolic face mask. But I'm, I know this stuff works, and it's sensitive, and it has all the goodies in it, and it has none of the baddies in it, so that's really cool too. Another product that I actually know I already love, and consistently repurchase on like sales to be honest. I wanted a new scrub. Um, I actually love the scrub that I'm using right now but I do like change my skincare off too often. This is the Garnier Sensitive? No it says Garnier Skincare. This is the Pure Active Intensive Anti-Blackhead Charcoal Exfoliating Gel. Now I love this because it's like a three in one. Honestly I use it to like a scrub, a face wash and I leave it on sometimes for a mask because it does have like that charcoal in it. So it really does bring everything to the surface. Very affordable. It does have a good granular consistency that I like. I do like a good um, exfoliant that's a physical and a chemical, but this is a really good physical exfoliant. Like I said, I use the glycolic for a chemical exfoliant. This one's just really good for the drugstore. Where I came across this brand that I've never heard of before, it is the Aoron? Aoron? Young Eyes Around the Clock Hydrating Anti-Aging Reduces Dark Circles and Puffiness Eye Cream. It's cool because I actually just, my old eye cream was in like a pot and I used to get like my nail, and it was just horrible, I hated it. But I love this one because it comes in a squeezy tube and it has a cool applicator. It's really nice under the eyes. I haven't seen any of the, the dark circle effect or anything like that, but it does feel really nice in the eyes. I feel like it cools the eye ring and down really well in the morning. So it's just a good all round night cream, eye cream that wasn't too expensive or at least it was hell a lot cheaper than the last eye cream I had. Onto the last skincare product that I got, um, I was just after a nice hydrating facial mist, even though I have four of them in my cupboard right now. But this one was super cheap. It is the, oh, I'm gonna destroy this, I'm so sorry. It is the Soyon de Visage by Face. I'll put it on the screen, I'm really sorry. Face mist rehydrating, it's, I think it's in French. A rose water and chamomile extract for dry skin. I liked the mist on it, it was quite quite fine, or fine enough for the drugstore anyway, and it smells good. It does smell like a rose garden, which I guess I kind of like. Products which are actually makeup products are the only makeup products I grabbed from this time around, um, which is very impressive for me because I usually go there straight for the makeup aisle. But if you have been watching me a while, or at least on my Instagram, my handle is here, please go follow it. I love W7 Brow Gel. It is the best brow gel I have ever used. It seriously tints your brows, seriously fills them in, and it holds them in place like literally all day without them looking like crispy crispy. And I'm a huge fan of it for $5. But I now live in Sydney, 
and they don't have it up here in their stores and I'm like what and then I was like on eBay and I was on the W7 website and they don't stock it in there anymore and I was freaking out because I was like oh my god they don't sell my favorite eyebrow gel anymore and I actually freaked out because my next favorite one is like $40 from Benefit and these are five I went back home to my very small hometown that apparently is very out of date and they still have old stock and I found them and I'm so happy because they don't sell very fast where they're from so I'm actually going to grab a few more of these when I'm down I grabbed my normal dark brown they only come in two shades admittedly so you know they got blonde or dark I grabbed both because why not sometimes this can be a little overpoweringly dark and so I thought I could lighten it up with the blonde one but these are my holy grail eyebrow products for the price they are amazing Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today's video. If you did like today's haul of all my skincare and a couple of random stuff chucked in the well, subscribe to my channel, like this video, go follow my Instagram page, I post some pretty cool creative makeup over there, and I hope you all have a beautiful day, night, or wherever you are. Bye.